known as the White Base, the 13th Autonomous Corps departs Federation headquarters at Jaburo. The Thoroughbred, the 16th Autonomous Corps, deploys from Jaburo at the same time and soon leaves the Earth behind. Their mission is to keep an eye on Granada while guarding the rear of the Federation fleet advancing on the Xeon homeland of Side 3. As it carries out its assignment and makes its way to the area between the moon and Solomon, the Thoroughbred encounters an enemy patrol. I believe we are still undetected by the enemy's recon force. Let's get this over with before they contact Granada. First, we must cut off their laser line of communication. Fire the beam interference warheads so that they intercept the line between the enemy ships and Granada. Disperse those Minovsky particles. The two Salamis class ships will hold position, and once the battle starts, you can all support at your discretion. G04, G05, launch when ready. G05 Ford Longfellow, Roger. This is my first battle with gun gun. I'm so psyched. G04, Loose Cast, also ready. This is Ford Romfellow. I'm launching. All right, fire beam interference missiles. Don't let any of them get away. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm raring to go. Lieutenant Ford, real combat is different from the training line. Please, calm down. I'm in the middle of the action. I can't calm down. Lieutenant Luce, look after Lieutenant Ford. Roger, I'll get the moose side first. Roger, we'll team up and destroy it. Watch this. This should do it. That Zaka is going to great. Hey, it's still just a Zaka. Yeah, this is going to be a cakewalk. Don't get too far ahead. Take this. Why can't we contact Granada? It's up to the laser communication. Not bad, Lieutenant Bruce. I'm going for it too. Right! We stopped the Musa. And that dog too. Damn the Federation! The ship that we established laser communication. Hurry! Right there. Take this! Defense power's down. This is getting good. Right there, I'm hit! Take that. Hey! Confirmed. Enemy destroyed. G04, G05, return to ship. Sir, the enemy fleet was annihilated before it could send out a communication signal to Solomon or the moon. The enemy will be on the move soon to investigate the lack of messages. We'll withdraw from this area as soon as we've retrieved all of our mobile suits. Yeah! <laughs> Lieutenant Ford, stop playing around. intercepts a signal from a Xeon fleet on its way to Solomon from Granada. Aware of the Federation fleet closing in on Solomon, Xeon is gathering its scattered forces together to counter the attack. With no other units available, 
Federation headquarters orders the thoroughbred to confront the detected enemy forces on its own. We've detected what we believe is one of the enemy fleets on its way to support Spaceport for Solomon. We will attack this fleet. Concentrate your forces to destroy this enemy ship before it deploys mobile suit teams. All ships will coordinate their attack and bombard the enemy ships. At least half of them must be destroyed. Cannon Corps will be firing at close range at specific targets, and the Gundams will be advancing with them. After the initial attack, adjust your course to provide covering fire. After attacking the enemy ship, the Gundam's task will be to determine the enemy mobile suit strength and numbers and engage them. G04, G05, information coupling confirmed. Launch when the cannon core is deployed, and watch out for the enemy fleet's anti-air guns. This is Ford Romfellow. I'm launching. Gun cannons! Concentrate on that enemy ship! G04, G05, destroy the enemy ship before it deploys their mobile suits. I know that. Right. Blast them! Fire the missiles! Is the new side first? Watch this! Many mobile suits can't bring this ship down. Enemy ship launching mobile suits. Yeah, the party just got a little rowdy. Don't let your guard down. Take this. What a sucker. Watch this. Mobile suits, highest time. More enemy reinforcements. Yes, we've got to get that awesome to shut up. Watch this. Enemy ship launching mobile suits. We're detecting enemy ships departing Granada. But their course seems to indicate the enemy fleet is headed for Abawaku and not Solomon, sir. They're abandoning Solomon? I'd never have thought they'd give up that base so easily. Captain, what are your orders, sir? Have the two Gundams repaired and resupplied. We need them launched again. G04, G05. As soon as your suits are ready, prepare to relaunch. Thanks a lot, you slave drivers. Honestly, in this situation, we're up against an enemy we can't defeat. What choice do we have? I mean, we still have to get out there and fight, right? How about if we try something a little different? has been detected leaving the lunar base of Granada. Its destination, the Xeon Space Fortress of Abawaku. The Thoroughbred makes plans to attack this fleet in order to weaken it as much as possible. However, due to the challenging nature of its recent mission, the Thoroughbred's crew and resources have been strained to the limit. The pilot of G-04, Lieutenant Luce Castle, proposes a daring plan. He volunteers to use the Megabeam launcher 
an untested prototype weapon that was discarded during its developmental phase. G-04's Mega Beam launch should be able to hit the enemy fleet from long range. That'll keep them. If it works, we could destroy their forward units with the forces we have right here. Captain, I'm against you. The Mega Beam launcher is a prototype. Its power supply is still too unstable. Even if we succeed in firing it, we don't know what kind of strain it the mobile suit. It's just too dangerous. Well, our current situation is dangerous as well. You don't think it'll work, senior petty officer? On um, paper, it should fire once at full power. We have no choice. I'm authorized. All right. You're a lucky man, you Lieutenant Bruce. I wish I was a pilot of G-04. G-04, prepare the Mega Beam launcher. This is Ford Romfellow. I'm launching. Enemy mobile suits! <sighs> Surprise attacks don't work every time. Secure Gundam Unit 4's firing point and keep them off him. It'll take some time for the generator outlet to come down. Counting on you. Lieutenant Ford, cover G04 until it's ready to fire. Count on me. Freedom for all space noise! Generator output. 40% left. Maximum power achieved. Take this! Enemy reinforcements. Be careful. It's maybe just a generator. Take this! G04, start your external generating path. I understand. Take this! More enemy reinforcements! Generators at max, but it's not enough for the mega particles to be generated. We are all non essential systems. Launching mobile suits. Gundam 05, we are in combat. Concentrate on the enemy in front of you. Didn't you see that explosion? Smart enough, Lieutenant Ford. Don't forget our mission. Are you just going to throw away Lieutenant Luce's plan? We are tracking his unit's coordinates. The sooner you complete the mission, the quicker you can help Lieutenant Luce. Please, Lieutenant Ford. The enemy fleet's moving. It might be a major counterattack. Defense power's down. Ugh, I can't take this! Take this! Enemy reinforcements. Be careful. Leave this to me. I read you loud and clear. Commencing support. No! I can't die here! 
Repeat, we've taken too much damage to deal with any more enemies. Lieutenant Ford, destroy as many enemy units as possible before their fleet counterattacks. We'll recover the Gundam 04 after and fall back. Glory to the Principality of Zeon! Ah! Enemy attack force confirmed destroyed, but the main fleet is reorganizing. Recover G04 immediately! With the decision to commence Operation Star One, many of the Federation's space fleets begin to converge on a power coup. Meanwhile, the Thoroughbred, suffering from the loss of Lieutenant Luce and G04, docks at Solomon for repairs and to resupply. As their time for departure nears, the tragic news of General Rebel's death during the solar ray system attack casts a pall over the crew. Disheartened, the Thoroughbred receives its new orders. Escort Prime Minister Darcia of the Republic of Zeon to the peace treaty signing. Eager for a chance to end this terrible war, the Thoroughbred heads for its rendezvous point with the Prime Minister's ship, the Chivin. Captain, it's confirmed. An enemy force is approaching the Chive's rendezvous point. It's not a unit of the Republic. It must be made up of ships that retreated from a power coup. Open a line to the Chive and tell them not to wait for us, but to make a run for Granada. We'll handle the enemy force. The enemy is wounded and desperate, so be careful. Luckily, we were able to equip the gun with the East Wing and picked up at Solomon. You have increased thrust and mobility. Use it wisely. Yeah. Let's keep living with those who die. G05, Ford away. Luce, I'll win this battle just for you. Watch this. Let's see you go dead. Come on, hit him. The, the thoroughbred is surrounded, requesting support. Musai, Lieutenant Ford. No matter what, it can't get past us. The thoroughbred's in trouble. 
requesting immediate support. All right. I stopped the Musai. Enemy destroyed. G zero. That enemy ship out there came from a bower coup. If I had to guess, I'd say Zeon's having a pretty hard time now. Oh, loose. It won't be long till the fighting's over. Even within Zeon itself, there is opposition to the dictatorship of the Zabi family, with Prime Minister Darcia leading this movement. After rendezvousing with the Prime Minister's ship, the Jive, the thoroughbred gets underway for Granite, the site of the peace site. But a Zeon military force, determined to thwart any attempts at a peaceful settlement, waits to intercept. Captain, Zeon mobile suit approaching from the moon. It's not answering our hail. And enemy from the moon? It's possible these are principality forces that are trying to stop the peace treaty. All hands, protect the Chive, no matter what! You're reloaded and resupplied, Lieutenant Ford. Commence an emergency launch of G-05. Roger. G05, Ford away. It must be protected at all costs. Lieutenant Ford, please believe in the power of yourself and your Gundam. I'd risk everything to end this war. Take this! Upgrade that guild group again? No, no! I can't die here! We won't let a traitor get past us! You're good, but I have more experience. What's this feeling? Suffocation and... and pressure? This one's really different from the other enemy forces. It isn't normal. What is this terrible thing? Let's see. Checking data? It's a brow bro, an enemy mobile armor. We've got a record of one of them fighting the white base. Be careful, the report says it can attack from a different position than the unit. From a different position than the unit? What does that mean? What is this? It's not a song. It's an ability and firepower far surpassing. I dance! I guess they're not holding anything back now. Leave this to me. Check. Enemy reinforcements. Be careful. Right there. I'm taking you all with me. <laughs> that bastard. More enemy reinforcements. It's still in one piece. If it can just outrun it. More enemy reinforcements. The defending target is under fire. Please support. Take this. Enemy destroyed. And the Chive is safe as well. <sighs> so, it's finally over. A communication from Granada, sir. They're opening negotiations at Amman. It looks like peace. So, it's finally over. This war is finally coming to an end at last. We'd like to welcome Prime Minister Darcia of the Republic of Zeon. We did it, Luz. Uh, 
I only wish you were here to enjoy this victory with us. Thoroughbred, this is G05, Ford Longfellow. Mission complete. Returning to base. Universal Century 0080. After this battle, all hostilities were suspended. Soon after, a formal peace treaty marking the end of the war between the Earth Federation and the Republic of Zeon was signed. Thank you for watching and special shout outs to my top patrons Midnight Hatter and Unusualist Pyro. Your continued support makes this all possible. If you like what you see, well, like and subscribe. If you want to see exclusive playthroughs and speedrun commentaries, do check out my Patreon.